In today's video, I will teach you how to create an image map using GIMP. Let's get started. Image map are an excellent tool to add hotspots to your graphics, allowing you to link various parts of an image to different URLs. And the best part, you don't need expensive software to create them. Let me guide you through the process of crafting your own image map using GIMP, a free and versatile design tool. The first step is choosing and creating your image. Begin by selecting or creating the image that you want to use for your image map. Consider the purpose of your image map and decide which areas of the image you want to make clickable. Whether it's logos, faces, or any other elements, any image will suffice for this tutorial. The next step is opening the image map editor in GIMP. Navigate to the Tools menu in GIMP, then go to Web and select Image Map. This action will open the Image Map Editor where you'll find various tools at your disposal. These tools allow you to define clickable areas on your image using different shapes. And now you can start mapping. Once inside the Image Map Editor, you'll notice two main workspaces, the Image Map Canvas and the list of links you've mapped. Using the shape tools provided, Outline the areas on your image that you want to be clickable. As you create each shape, a dialog box will prompt you to fill the necessary details such as the URL and alt text for the link. The fourth step is obtaining the code. Once you've finished mapping the desired areas, it's time to obtain the HTML code for your image map. Simply go to the View menu and select Source to access the source code. Within the code, locate the section corresponding to the image being mapped and ensure that the file paths are correctly specified, especially if the HTML file and the image are located in different directories. And the last step is testing your image map. Save the file containing the generated code. It will typically have a file extension of .map. Rename the file extension to HTML and ensure that both the HTML file and the image are located in the same directory. You can then test your image map by opening the HTML file in your web browser. Double-clicking the HTML file should launch it in your default browser, allowing you to interact with your newly created image map. And there you have it. You've successfully created an image map for your website using GIMP. Experiment with different shapes and links to customize your image map to suit your design needs. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.